am the Board of Health Administrator for Public Health Seattle and King County, and I'm part of the team of folks from the Health Department who are traveling to the cities in King County to raise awareness about um, the coming open enrollment um, for health reform that starts on October 1st. And we hope that um, you'll be willing to help us spread the word among your residents who might be otherwise uninsured and can take advantage either of the expanded Medicaid uh, opportunities or uh, to be able to purchase insurance through the exchange um, at a discount. So you have, I think, uh, council members have packs in front of you um, that I just have a few slides to walk through to take it less than 10 minutes. Um, in King County, uh, as measured by the 2010 census, um, the health insurance, um, uninsurance rate across King County varies from 3 to 30 percent, depending on what part of the county that you live in. Um, and as you can see on this map, as indicated by the, the red and orange colors, those are areas of the county that have a higher level of uninsurance. Um, the blue areas are where there, uh, more residents are insured. So as the next page um, shows um, an anticipated change in that map, um, depending on how people are able to take advantage of the opportunities with health reform to either be eligible for Medicaid or to be able to purchase affordable care for themselves. Um, this is just an anticipated estimate, um, not exactly on track, um, but and as the enrollment starts, uh, we'll be able to, we'll have some data um, by the beginning of the year that will show how people are beginning to become insured. So our hope is that going from 33 to 30% uninsured will change um, so that we'll increase that level <coughs> significantly. And just to remind you uh, of who is left uninsured after the Affordable Care Act is implemented, undocumented immigrants are not eligible for either expanded um, Medicaid or for ability to purchase through the exchange. Um, there are certain religious groups and Native American tribes um, and incarcerated folks who also are not eligible. Um, there are people <coughs> who may choose not to enroll, um, facing the penalty that there is for a lack of enrollment. Um, and then uh, the immigrants who are here legally um, for at least five years um, are eligible for Medicaid and um, they're also eligible for the exchange. But really our goal in King County for the health of the entire community is to get as many folks um, on one plan or another, uh, hopefully in the next couple of years. Uh, the way that we're approaching this um, is that uh, Washington State has chosen to expand Medicaid coverage um, so that folks who are um, up to 138 percent of the federal poverty level will be eligible for no-cost uh, coverage through the Medicaid program. And then for folks who are 139% to 400% of the federal poverty level, they're eligible to buy coverage through uh, the Washington Health Benefits Exchange. Um, here that's called the Washington Health Plan Finder. Um, and that will allow folks to have um, subsidized premiums kind of on a sliding scale based on their family size and income. So hopefully that will make um, monthly premiums affordable for a lot of folks. So starting on um, October 1st, folks will be able to apply for either of those two benefits um, with coverage starting for them on January 1st of 2014. Um, currently in King County, there's 180,000 folks who are uninsured um, that will be eligible for one kind or another of the, um, of the coverage. So about 80,000 of those folks will be eligible for Medicaid, um, and another 100,000 will be eligible through the, the lower cost um, coverage through the exchange. Um, and the recession uh, really kind of did a number on things, and the number of uninsured uh, folks in King County has increased by 50,000 since uh, the Great Recession in um, 2008. So you may have started to see uh, advertising and news media, both um, print media and radio ads. Um, the campaign here in, in Washington State is coverage is here, and so King County has kind of kicked out its coverage is here, King County, so you'll see, see things with this brand on it. Um, really, um, King County Executive Constantine has um, taken this on as a major goal for King County, and a lot of the departments, in addition to public health, who have a contract to help with um, outreach and enrollment activities are really trying to figure out how to get the word out to all of their customers. Um, 
for the uninsured, uh, we're really hoping to provide education and really encourage the enrollment through lots of different communication strategies and outreach. Um, and then we'll be doing uh, targeted enrollment assistance to newly eligible convenient sites all over the county, including some here in Pacific. Um, and for employers who are required to provide coverage, um, we're also doing some outreach and education for businesses. As you can imagine, there's a lot of challenges with this, trying to reach so many people with uh, things with health care reform, which is pretty confusing. Um, so we're, we're trying to help simplify that for folks. Um, and we, we don't want to, healthcare is a daunting thing for a lot of folks and so we want to really try to help them understand how they can access it. Um, education is not enough, so we want to provide some assistance um, and are doing that through the variety of events that we have across the county to help folks get enrolled. And we know to be successful we need to work with our communities and with agencies in the communities who are already in touch with the folks who are potentially eligible for either of these two pathways. And so that's another reason why we're here with you um, as, as part of our outreach strategy. So we're doing, I have a long list of things that we're doing. Um, we're working with the cities and the uh, Seattle school districts. Um, we're working with our health care providers and uh, partners to uh, colleges, universities, high schools, uh, elementary schools. The libraries uh, are an exciting resource as well. <coughs> Community centers, housing, uh, entities that work with the homeless, um, some of our public health special <coughs> programs, um, and many others. So we've been uh, ramping up to do this for quite a while, starting uh, at the beginning of this year, uh, really looking at developing the campaign plan. Um, and this summer through now are, uh, have been getting folks trained up um, and oriented so that they'll be a good resource to folks um, when October 1 rolls along and then uh, the, the enrollment period uh, starts in October and ends in April for um, the exchange and Medicaid. There are a variety of um, agencies that are available for uh, folks across the county and then there's some in particular here at Pacific. So we have um, two events planned um, down in your area at the Pacific Community Center um, every Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday in October from 4 to 8. Uh, there'll be folks there to be able to help people um, with an application over um, online. Um, you can also use the call center to complete an application. And then there's an event at the Algonquin Pacific Library on uh, November 6th from 3 to 7. Uh, and just what we ask for you is to um, be champions of this effort with your constituents, uh, to promote enrollment events and share information um, through your website, newsletters, and public engagement, and to attend an enrollment event in your city. And I've left um, some papers on the side of talking about how you can get involved, and that has both the call center phone number on it and um, we've got a pretty complete website that has that gets updated frequently with uh, events information um, and to help people uh, understand how to get connected, um, both with our resources here locally and then through the exchange at the state. And I'm here if you have any questions. <coughs> While you're talking about the website, is it accessible or linked between uh, King County, um, the main website? Yes, it's uh, King County backslash covered, so a pretty easy web address to get there. And then that in turn hooks also to resources at Washington State. I have a question. It says they're qualified for Medicaid. And I'm on Medicare. What's the difference in the program? Um, Medicaid is an entitlement program for low-income adults um, who may or may not have a work history. There's, and Medicare is a, is a program that is available for folks who have um, either through a disability or through a work life have, have gained um, the ability to have Medicare. So Medicare Medicaid is more of an entitlement program rather than a, an insurance that you're eligible for. Other Great. Well, thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you. Thanks for I would like to ask um, um, if we could have the police department put this on the reader board when they're going to be over at the community center. This information to get it out to the community that would be great. Thank you so much.